So in short, we can say that I came here, uh, as I have taken the charge of forest uh, and uh, environment and pollution, pollution uh, board, my first thing was, always there was a pain in me. My first awareness in the forest was the Kannada Kantiriya Sri Rajkumar Ji's uh, Gandhadugudi. So Gandhadugudi is all about protecting your forest. However, DO4 uh, forest officer safeguards the forest and from uh, smuggling. So I was, in fact, I was sharing uh, with my colleagues the other day with the, in Aranya Bhavan. I was sharing how the culture transformed. A hero was around uh, 40 years back. He is someone who safeguards the forest. And now the hero is someone who does, who cuts away the forest and who is a smuggler. This we can understand. So Gandha the Goody is all about safeguarding and nowadays the current cinema, of course I'm a part of the uh, cinema also, and most of the time I hate, I mean, I struggle to do such films. I said, am I sending the right message? But of course cinema is different, but the cultural shift, what happened, that was quite interesting uh, for us. So here I would like to, though what I could not do in real, uh, real I mean, uh, real life, I mean cinema life, but I wish, I mean, I'm able to do it in real life and I'm uh, grateful for politics. I'm grateful for people of IAP for choosing me and getting me elected in, um, through Pitapuram and being taken charge as a deputy CM. And all this, all this power, whatever power I have and whatever influence I could do, it is more for an ecological uh, balance and of course uh, saving the Mother Earth and saving Vasudhaika Kutumbam. And it is not just for Earth, it is not just for few humans, it is for all of us. And me and Kandreji, we share the same uh, dream and same aspirations. And the moment he started speaking, the moment he initiated the dialogue, it was so amazing to learn from him, the man of such commitment, man of highest aspirations. And we could see that our bonding beyond politics, we could, I could uh, connect in at a personal level with Kandreji. And I would like to see in future will our relationship will grow together which would benefit both the states uh, country. I'm grateful to you for initiating this and uh, uh, supporting us. So in short we went for a seven point uh, uh, agenda. One is about red sand smuggling. The second one is about uh, IT initiatives, how uh, IT initiatives are uh, making wildlife management and forest management quite well through IT initiatives. And second is about uh, ecotourism uh, initiative, which Karnataka is at the uh, forefront. And of course, about wildlife poaching and how to contain it, that is one aspect. And the last one is elephant and human conflict and elephant movement tracking. And later, the uh, rest of the two was how to transfer of knowledge and constant interaction. So we, in broad, these are, these are the seven topics we discussed. And we're going to on 12th of this month. And I also would like to thank Honorable uh, Kandreji for the extending the invitation for International Conference on Human Elephant Conflict Management uh, on uh, August 12th. Uh, thank you, sir. I would like to thank you one more in front of the uh, media. And I thank you for this. Uh, as I have a meeting on 12th, um, I have a review meeting uh, with Honorable CM, uh, Sri Chandrabhav Nayagaru. If he could, uh, I'll seek his, uh, I mean, uh, to excuse me from that meeting. If that, he could uh, give me that extension, I mean, if he could uh, relieve me from that meeting, definitely I'll be there on 12th, sir. I would like to bring it to notice. I'll be there. And I'll request Honorable CM uh, to consider that part. Uh, because the uh, last two meetings we had been cancelling. That's why it has become the uh, first meeting I would have easily I could have conveyed it. Because third meeting, so I'll, I'll seek his uh, permission. Uh, is especially about my own uh, department, PR department, Panchayat Raj department. So if any chance is there, uh, definitely I'll be there. And uh, personally, we both can, uh, Honorable uh, Kandreji and me will uh, come with a MOU. I think uh, officials would do the MOU. And if not, I'll uh, send our uh, uh, respected colleagues and team and uh, they'll come and uh, they'll take forward the initiative. And one more time, uh, I'm grateful to you for sharing the knowledge. And especially about Red Sanders, the way uh, it is about Andhra Red Sa, I mean, uh, Red Sanders, Rakta Chandanam. Almost around 140 crores worth of Red Sanders were seized in Karnataka. This was a news for me. Yeah. <laughs> and it was amazing. 
and they could have withheld it, but with such a great heart, Karnataka forest uh, officials, like they said it very openly, we seized your uh, red sanders in Karnataka, which is worth of 140 crores, and 100 crores in uh, uh, 2017, and in 24, it is 40 crores. And we are short of funds there in AP. We lack a fund. <laughs> and it is not about uh, what they seized, and he said, he said it in, uh, I think, uh, who said this? Dikshit. Uh, Dikshit ji, yeah, I think. He said it in a very beautiful way. And already we have taken money from AP, so we will extend our services, our cooperation, because we have taken that wealth, and we are more than willing to do it. And that made me quite inspiring and uh, quite uh, grateful uh, for uh, saying those words, which there was, there was no need. Even you could have kept quiet in this meeting, I think you would have never got to know. Uh, but uh, I truly appreciate the honesty of uh, uh, forest officials here, and I'm uh, grateful to you. And, uh, I'm quite uh, uh, grateful to Honorable uh, Ishwar Kandraji, and thank you, sir. And I look forward to strengthen our relationship, irrespective of which government, which party we come from. And uh, after all, we are all from one nation. Yeah. We share the common culture, we share the common lippy. And, uh, I'm extremely grateful to you, sir, and uh, looking forward, not just about uh, forest, it's all about all aspects of uh, Karnataka and uh, uh, Andhra Pradesh relationships. An honorable minister brought to my notice, as he's from Bida, uh, so a lot of uh, devotees come to Sri Salem on walk, on barefoot, and uh, they were asking me, an honorable minister conveyed to me about Sri Salem. Uh, there should be some kind of renewal uh, about uh, uh, yes. renewal of land. Renewal of land. Yes, Definitely, I'll take it forward to the our cabinet, sir. We'll take it forward. Yes, and also about Tirumala, also Tirupati, Tirupati also. And though we, Tirupati and uh, Sri Salem, though it might be in Andhra, it belongs to the entire India. We are extremely committed to it. We'll extend the fullest uh, whatever the possible support is needed. We'll right. take it forward, and I'll. Uh, uh, convey to the Honorable uh, CM Sri Chandrababu and also to the cabinet. So I'll take it forward. Thank you. And uh, I would like to convey my heartfelt thanks to Honorable CM Sri Siddharamaya Garu. And before uh, I came to this meeting, uh, I went to uh, Sri Siddharamaya Garu's house. I sought his support. I conveyed my heartfelt uh, thanks to him. And he also very positively responded, whatever is needed, we will uh, do it from our side. We'll extend the full support. and. Uh, I would like to thank him and also Deputy CM Sri, though I haven't met him yet, DK uh, Shukumar ji also, um, my heartfelt uh, uh, acknowledgements and thanks to him, my greetings to him, my namaskars to him. And thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Sir, I'm sorry? We haven't discussed any, we, dis we confine only to the seven point agenda, nothing else. Because uh, uh, we have uh, just few months, I mean, less than uh, two months, we came into government, and. I told what exactly is needed if you could uh, furnish the details. Yes, we'll now take. I have represented the matter to the, our deputy minister. He has promised me that he will look into it, examine it, and do whatever is possible. Sir, yeah. yeah. Each government has a very unique. For example, uh, uh, take Nepal. Nepal has a. Uh, uh, in uh, international treaty, which they said whatever has been uh, been uh, captured there, it will be should be sent back to the source country. So that kind of understanding is not there for the states. If, if they seize the property, I think normally I think uh, even if we seize the property of uh, Tamil Nadu, we'll keep it here. I think that's the practice here. I think um, as I'll go into details later, but right now this is the information I have. Uh, cinema is another issue than it's about uh, <laughs> governance and administration. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> so.